Hey, my name is Steven Foster and welcome to another video. Today we're in a bit of a different setting than uh, where I normally shoot these videos. Today we're in my car, the Tesla Model X. I've had this car for about three years now. I know I've promised some of you on this channel, um, or I've promised all of you on this channel, I should say, uh, to do a proper video talking about what three years of ownership of the Tesla Model X has been like. This is not gonna be that video. Um, I wanted to get this video out a little bit quicker because as a lot of you saw last week, Tesla announced a new refresh of the Tesla Model X and S. Also, they're shipping just record number quantities of Model 3s and Model Ys. And so I wanted to talk about some tips, a few tips that'll help any Tesla owner enjoy ownership and get the most out of your ownership. So first up, get custom sunshades for your car. I like these particularly from EV Annex. I'll drop a link in the description for everything down below. Even if you don't park your car outside, I would highly recommend at least getting one of these for your front windshield to give yourself more privacy at superchargers. And what I really like about this is it has built-in Velcro to keep it nice and tight. I'm gonna deploy it right over here. And now people can't see in through the front windshield. So um, actually I'm gonna probably need to brighten it up in here for this. Oh, which way are we going? There we go, okay. The other great thing about EV Annex is they sell these custom cut for your windshield sort of reflectors. So uh, this will give you more privacy if you wanna camp in your car or if you want to uh, just have more privacy at a supercharger or something. I just drop these oh, on the window back here. And they stay in place with these suction cups, which is absolutely genius. And they sell a whole set for the entirety of your car. So if you wanna be able to have the ability to get that privacy, like I said, for camping or something, or if you're at a supercharger that's just packed and crowded and you don't wanna have like 18 families looking into your vehicle while you're playing Candy Crush, I don't know whatever. Especially also when it's really warm outside during the summer, this will make it easier for your vehicle to cool itself. And I have found that it does help me charge a little bit faster because I'm not using all the juice that I'm getting off of the supercharger to try to run the air conditioning. So good things like that. Should I just do the rest of the video with the sunshades up? Yeah, why not? It's good. The next thing I'd recommend for any Tesla owner is to get a DC or like a car charger to USB-C. While it's really convenient that Tesla does have USB ports throughout the cabin. Uh, they're relatively weak, at least in the Model S and X, and I think in the 3 and Y as well. This particular DC charger does about 30 watts. I think the ones here built into the Tesla are about five to 10 watts, which is just really slow for charging a phone and will really struggle to charge like a tablet or a laptop. Something like this charger will charge a tablet, will fast charge a phone, Great for road trips or camping, like I said. This will even charge a laptop like a MacBook Pro. We've charged uh, my 13-inch MacBook Pro and my wife's 15-inch MacBook Pro in here off of this. You do need to turn the display off in order for it to uh, charge, but um, really great in a pinch if you're on a road trip. And then this is kind of like a bigger version of that where you have like this DC inverter thing that has these outlets here. And this is like a 300 watt, so like 30 watts, 300 watts. Uh, this will definitely charge your laptop. You can charge two laptops off of this. I charge my batteries for the Canon camera off of this. And we actually even ran a uh, part of our house off of just this inverter during a four day outage. That was one of my other videos and I'll link that on here. But for any Tesla owner, definitely have a way to utilize faster phone charging, laptop charging, give yourself that ability because the built-in USB ports on your Tesla just are not powerful enough. And actually, Elon or someone at Tesla, anyone at Tesla, because Elon doesn't, he doesn't install those USB ports himself, put higher power, higher wattage USB ports in the Tesla, even if it's only 20 watts over the 10, uh, that would be a huge improvement. You would be able to then charge most tablets, fast charge most phones. That'd be a great start. A hundred watt uh, USB-C would be great. So then laptops and tablets and you can kind of charge pretty much anything as far as like devices, small devices, things like that. I don't think that's on the current Model X and S refresh, uh, but hopefully they can fit it in somewhere in the future. So the last thing I would recommend is get the Tesla home wall charger. Now, now every Tesla comes with a mobile charger, which is a great option in a pinch to charge your vehicle and, and like it will work. And for the first two years of my ownership of this vehicle, I used that mobile charger pretty much all the time if I wasn't on a supercharger or some other type of charger. It works, it will work, but over the last year, having 
the wall charger installed. It does charge faster. It charges this car about 50% faster than uh, the mobile charger, even on the same amp circuit. So I have a 50 amp circuit at home. I have that wall charger installed. And with the Tesla Model X, I have the long range from 2018, which has about 300 miles of range. I could charge about 30 miles of range an hour so I can get a full charge from almost nothing in about 10 hours versus on the mobile charger where it would take about 20, uh, I'd get about 20 miles of range per hour of charge. So that would take a little bit closer to like 14, 15 hours to fully charge. It's just one of the things that makes ownership a lot nicer is having that wall mounted charger, just being able to coil up your mobile charger and already have that ready to go and you don't have to break down sort of your home charging setup to go charge on the road. The wall charger does also then have built-in cable management, which is really nice. It has a really nice click uh, clip for the part that plugs into the vehicle. I also read, I think, somewhere where uh, the current V3 wall charger that Tesla is selling, and I'll link that below as well, has the firmware, has the hardware and some firmware combination to actually send power back from your vehicle to your house. Uh, so you wouldn't need something like this to actually run your house off of uh, your Tesla's battery. But I don't know if the new Tesla inverter that they're selling supports that or how all that works. But I think if you buy that, that will be a critical piece in upcoming and future updates for Tesla power walls and your vehicle and how it connects to your home and the grid and all that other fun stuff. So definitely look into that. I think I think I waited too long. I'm glad now that I just bought the wall charger, had an electrician professionally install it, and now I just I don't have to worry about it. Mm. Coffee, 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 coffee. So that's it, some simple tips to make Tesla ownership better for any Tesla owner, Model S, 3, X, Y, Cybertruck, Roadster, all of this applies. Uh, sunshades, get an inverter, a DC car charger, whatever you wanna call it, and then get the home wall charger because it does really make plugging in your car at night and just making sure that you always have a, a topped off charge, so. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. Mostly what we talk about is photography, mobile photography, tech here on this channel. I say we. It's just me. Sometimes I like to have some guests. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Stephen Foster. Subscribe if you aren't already. I'm honored by all of you who already have. Thank you so much. Please be kind both in life and in the comments below. Like this video if you encourage someone today. How about that? That is a great thing. We all kind of need to encourage each other a little bit more, I think. Be kind, you know. Uh, but take it one step further and, and encourage someone. You could really make someone's day. So like this video if you encourage someone. And we'll do it again soon. Yeah, hopefully that turned out all right. I don't know. <laughs> also, if you guys have questions specifically about the Tesla Model X from someone who's been an owner now for almost three years, please leave those questions in the comments down below. I am putting together sort of like a a retrospective on my ownership of this car in three years, looking at total cost of ownership, looking at looking at maintenance costs and 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 having taken a few road trips and camped in this vehicle and done all that stuff. Let me know uh, if you guys have any particular questions. I'll answer them when I do the big sort of Tesla Model X video that I'm planning. Thank you for watching these videos. Um, I'll keep them coming if you guys keep showing up. And yeah, let's just keep doing it. Thanks.